Hey everyone, ZeriX here, and as you can tell by the picture and the title of the video, you know what time it is. It's time for another scary story. Now this one here is called Limbs. And it kind of looks like a good story. I've only read the beginning of it so far, but it looks like a pretty good story. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. It was hideous. It was probably the most grotesque person, no, not even a person, I've ever seen. I was walking to the library after school like I normally do. It was kind of rainy, but I figured that it wasn't that bad and I could just deal with the rain. I was halfway there. The walk wasn't very long and it didn't take more than 15 minutes or so. I was daydreaming as I walked. When I decided to pay complete attention, I found myself somewhere that was unfamiliar. I have never seen this place in my life. It it didn't look like it was even real. It looked like it belonged in a nightmare, a nightmare that haunted you for years. The sky changed too. It wasn't gray, it was dark purple. The ground had blood on it, and what little wasn't covered in blood was black. As I looked around more, I noticed disturbing things. I saw someone in the corner. I couldn't tell what gender they were, but their arms and legs were gone, and they were bleeding. However, they weren't screaming or crying, or dead. They were smiling. A smile that didn't seem to be human. The teeth were like a shark's, and their mouth were, was huge. I also noticed that children were around me with linked arms standing in a circle. They were maybe 100 feet away from me. They were all wearing white. They were crying. They didn't seem to be in any pain. Why were they crying while the person without limbs looked as though they were about to burst out into laughter? It didn't make any sense to me. I saw a creature of some sort standing on a pedestal. I couldn't make out its features, but it looked to be human. The creature stepped off its pedestal and I began seeing a little bit of its face. I realized it wasn't human. It couldn't have been. Its eyes were red, with no whites or pupils. Its mouth looked like it wasn't meant to be there. Like used to be blank skin. Then a hole was torn into it. The horrible thing started walking towards me. It walked in a jerking motion. It seemed to be pulling itself. I got to see more of it. It had no nose, and it wasn't wearing clothing. When I looked closer to its arms, I noticed that it wasn't the same color as the rest of its body. Its arms had been stitched on, and the skin was burnt. Its legs were also different from its mainly white skin. Its legs were the color of a blue bruise, and they were also stitched into its body. It kept coming towards me in the same jerking way. I became so frightened I couldn't move. I couldn't even speak. I stood there blankly, and it came closer to me. Why can't I move? I thought to myself. Why am I here? How am I here? As it came closer, the man without limbs began laughing with a voice that sounded snake-like. The creature began to laugh as well, except its laugh sounded like it was being interfer interfered with by static. I wished for the creature to stop moving towards me, to turn and go the other direction. Of course, though, it didn't. It made a perfect shrieking noise with the same static. I felt helpless. I glanced at the children and blood soiled their perfectly white clothing. Once that horrible thing came close enough, it started to speak to me. I couldn't quite make out what it was saying, but I know it said something about my family and close friends. I felt a terrible pain in my side, like someone had ripped my skin open and began tearing out my organs and tissue. I blacked out. I awoke strapped on a table of some sort with a blanket covering me. I looked around and noticed I was in a small room. It was mainly white. I began to struggle until someone finally walked into the room. The person looked harmless enough. He actually looked very concerned. Hello, he said in a pleasant tone. First, let me explain what's going on. Somebody f found your blacked out 
in a field. None of your friends or family could tell the police why you were there. Later that night, your mother was found with her arms cut off. Also, your father was dead. His legs had been cut off. Police believe your mother killed your father then herself. I was devastated. I tried to talk, but I couldn't. The words just wouldn't form. I'm very sorry, said the man. But I have even more awful news. Ten of your friends were reported dead that same night. About the same time, your parents died. They were murdered, and police are looking for the suspect again. I'm very sorry for your losses. I imagine you would like to be alone. The nurse will be in to check on you momentarily. I could barely breathe. How could this have happened? I struggled more to escape the table, but only managed to take the sheet and fall off. When I saw my arms, I was disgusted. They were sewn on and burnt. This can't be, I thought. I strained to look at my legs, and saw they were also sewn on, and they were the same blue color as the horrible creature's legs. Now, do you guys think so? What do you think would happen if this, if you saw a dead, an almost dead man laughing, laughing with arms torn off and everything? That's the question I leave you with for today. Thanks for watching.